Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're doing great today. Amen. Sitting here, a little fractured ankle in case you're wondering why things are different. But uh, we're looking today at modern scholarship has no absolutes. Now, some scholarship does. Obviously, you can't really do math or engineering without absolutes, you know, geometry and technological formulas. You don't want to do electricity into a house unless you have absolutes as far as currents. You don't want to fly an airplane unless there's absolutes there. But in so many other fields of inquiry, that there's really no absolutes. I tell you, when I really caught hold of this, now it's probably been 14 years ago. I was at a very conservative uh, well thought of uh, Christian academic institution. I was studying actually for PhD in Christian philosophy and biblical archaeology and a great teacher and I really liked the teacher. He was just tremendous. Now his wheelhouse and my wheelhouse was not the same thing. His wheelhouse was kind of like symbolic logic in philosophy trying to bring math into philosophy and symbolic logic kind of the old Bertrand Russell though Bertrand Russell didn't do it from a Christian perspective obviously and so we're, we're talking about biblical archaeology in this actual one class and he said now here's this biblical archaeological find he said now that's what we know now and he said uh, the next generation is going to have their truth we have our truth and he says that's a good thing and he said 300 years if I remember correctly he said 300 years from now they're going to look at the same data we've got and have their truth and every generation needs to have their own truth now so you know kind of discussing all this it was like okay i can understand because i think i raised my hand and said now wait you mean if they find more things that will constantly reassess the evidence and all this kind of stuff and he was like no he's like the same evidence he said so this particular thing would look like it really proves the scripture is true at least in that particular instance and he was saying the next generation may look at that have something different so it let me know there was really no absolute truth there and so then as i've been in academia for a long time and associated with people in academia for a long time you know friends with college professors and this type thing and accepting in certain absolute fields and it's trying to creep into those fields where they're trying to say that these certain things are not absolute that it's just like well we've got to reinterpret this writing we've got to reinterpret what happened in the 1870s we have to reinterpret and it's through this lens that we currently have and maybe even trying to superimpose certain standards or thoughts or what we would call norms back on certain things and of course these are if they're based on the biblical christianity or something well that's a very good thing you know like the abolition of slavery and these type things but if it's if it's just doing it because every generation in their masters and phd theses have to come up with something new even though you can get some more data in there there's a difference between more data and more overarching truths and so uh, this lack of absolute truth in academia is an extraordinarily dangerous thing. I mean, you go to diagram sentences and you just say, ah, we'll just do sentences however we want to. Two plus two no longer equals four. And it, it reminds me, it goes back into the Heisenberg uncertainty principle that Paul Johnson brings out so well in modern times, that the theory of relativity. And it's like, what was it c.s lewis said something to the effect of what the people in the white coats believe in one generation the people will believe in mass like in morality in the next generation and so you have the theory of relativity well then morals are relative i'm okay you're okay and everybody's just got different morals and there's no absolute like we have a standard of weights and measurements here in the united states it says an inch is an inch, a foot is a foot, a pound is a pound, on and on and so forth. Well, when you don't have that in the moral realm, then everybody doing that, which is right in their own eyes, it can actually lead to horrific 
human suffering and cost and even uh, genocide and horrible things such as that. So uh, no, there's absolutes. God is an absolute God. He's a Lord. He changes not. So there is an absolute, there's unchangeable word forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. So God bless. Hey, thanks for being here with us today. Do check out our other videos, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and join us daily. And uh, we try to, over, over 5,000 videos, we try to just have it as a repository of Christian knowledge. So we try to keep them all evergreens, even if the tech, especially way back, wasn't the best. Listen to what's said. God bless. We love you. Bye-bye.